GM just unveiled their new all-electric super truck. Tesla gets a battery range extension, as well as the Tesla Model 3 gets a complete refresh, and much more. Before we get started on all the electric vehicle updates, make sure you hit the like button as well as subscribe to the channel. Make sure you stick around to the end of the video where I reveal a couple of cars that are all electric that are scheduled to come out in 2021. So General Motors just revealed their new all electric Hummer truck. Let's take a look at some of the specifications. It has completely transparent roof panels that can actually be removed from the vehicle if you want. It features a form of autopilot which GM calls Super Cruise. This Super Cruise function is available on all trim levels of the Hummer truck. It has 22 inch rims and 35 inch all territory tires. The lowest price model can travel up to 250 miles on a single charge. The Hummer truck is actually pretty fast. Now this particular speed is only rated for the highest level trim model, which is around $112,000. It goes from zero to 60 in three seconds or so. And it features a Bose audio system, which is available on all trim levels. The lowest price Hummer trim level starts at around $79,000 and it has two motors and is expected to be released around spring of 2024. The highest price Hummer electric vehicle trim level starts at around $112,000. It has three independent motors and it's expected to be released in fall of 2021. Now let's compare the Tesla Cybertruck to the Hummer Supertruck. To start, the cheapest model Tesla Cybertruck is around $39,000, but it only has one motor. This 39,000 Cybertruck goes 250 plus miles on a single charge. The dual motor Tesla Cybertruck is a better comparison because it has two motors, which is like the cheapest Hummer electric truck. The difference is the Tesla Cybertruck can go 350 50 miles plus on a single charge. That's 50 more miles than the cheapest Hummer electric vehicle. And this particular Tesla Cybertruck is only priced at $49,000. But overall, the Tesla Cybertruck seems to be the better deal right now, but I'm excited to see how this battery technology, as well as some of these electric vehicles that are coming out, are gonna fare up against Tesla. Tesla increased their battery range on all of their current models. My Tesla Model 3, which is a dual motor all wheel drive, was rated for 310 miles on a single charge. Now that has increased to 353 miles, which is around a 12% increase. All of the other models got a boost in range also. The Tesla Model S can drive over 400 miles on a single charge. The Tesla Model X can go 370 plus miles on a single charge, which is great considering how big the vehicle is. The Tesla Model Y can go 326 miles on a single charge. I'm actually amazed that you can buy an all electric vehicle that can go 250 plus miles on a single charge that is under $40,000. So the Tesla Model S just dropped this price by around $10,000. The Tesla Model S used to have a starting price of around $80,000, but it's since then dropped this price to $60,000. $69,420. The Tesla Model S, although it wasn't the first electric vehicle that Tesla came up with, it was the vehicle that put Tesla on the map. This vehicle was once considered out of price range for most people, but that has all changed with the price reduction. Based on what you can get for the price, this is actually a great deal. In most vehicles in the same category, the starting price is around $90,000 to $100,000. In fact, the Tesla Model S is very closely compared to the Porsche Taycan. The Porsche Taycan is Porsche's all-electric luxury four-door sedan. The Taycan starts at $103,000, which is $34,000 more than the standard Tesla Model S. The Porsche Taycan is actually a nice vehicle though, and it's just as fast as the fast fastest Tesla Model S coming in at around 2.8 seconds. Again, just like all the other vehicles, I'm extremely excited to see where the technology takes the Tesla Model S as well as the Porsche Taycan. Now let's talk about the Tesla Model 3 refresh. So the Tesla Model 3 not only received a battery range increase, it also received some additional features as well as some changes that you may like. The car now has Chrome Delete Standard where all the trim now has a black finish, unlike mine, which has a chrome finish on the outside of the car. It also has a power trunk 
that opens and closes. Of course, mine on my Tesla Model 3, you either have to push the button on the app or manually do it yourself. They also changed the center console in which it now has a matte black color instead of the shiny black color that my Tesla Model 3 has. The center console also features wireless built-in charging. Unlike my Tesla Model 3, it does not have wireless charging built in, but it does have a cover over the top of the lid. And of course, they added some heated side mirrors which my vehicle does not have. These are just a few things that the Tesla Model 3 Complete Refresh actually added, but there are plenty more that are listed on the site. Overall, I think this total refresh of the Tesla Model 3 is great, and you got an additional battery range, which is helpful in all situations. Now, remember when I told you to stick around to the end of the video and I'll reveal the vehicles that are scheduled to come out in 2021 that are all electric? First, before I reveal those, make sure you hit the like button as well as subscribe to the channel. So as promised for sticking around to the end of the video, here are some vehicles that are scheduled to be released in 2021. You've got the Mustang Mach-E, which has a starting price of $43,000, and it's an all-electric SUV crossover. You've got the Nissan Aria, which has a starting price of $40,000, and it's an all-electric SUV. And last but not least, you've got the Audi e-tron which has a starting price of a hundred thousand dollars this is an all-electric four-door large sedan which is similar to the tesla model s now there are several other vehicles that i'm extremely excited for in 2021 that are all electric but we'll just have to wait and find out what those are make sure you comment below and tell me which ones you're excited about as well as subscribe to the channel thank you for watching and we'll see you on the next video